Welcome back to Snag. This, this first segment is dedicated to the women that take care of us. You know, you take them boating, they figure out a few different things, they make you smile, and it's always, always good to go out fishing with them. Here is to the women of Snagged. Sisters are doing it for themselves. Sisters are doing it for themselves. Now you just think you're macho. So really, we've just turned them. Load it, net it, rod up, rod up into the net, Ash. <laughs> oh Bring it over the boat. Bring it in the boat. What are you doing, you clowns? <laughs> you guys should have your own fishing show. the bungs in. That's very crucial. If you forget that, you may as well not even go in the water. Guys, <laughs> <laughs> right, so welcome back to Snag. We're here with everybody. And everybody's going to be catching a fish today, big flatty. Obviously. Um, do you guys have anything to say to make the intro a bit more spicy? Stay tuned guys, big app coming up. Need a rod. I'm gonna need you to shut up. Okay, okay. <laughs> I didn't charge my GoPro battery yesterday, so I'm relying purely on my new GoPro battery extender. Whitty! Hold down for two seconds, turning on, hit record on GoPro. Hit record on GoPro. Back in action. Um, Swanee's been learning all these knots, and um, we decided to put on, what do you remember what it was called? Green Lantern. Yeah. The Green Lantern Z-Man. Oh. Oh, that was on. Yep, fine. Oh, yeah. Hey, oh, get it away from me, get it away from me, get it away from me! Don't be afraid to flick down there too, in between those little oyster beds. You never know what brimbo is going to come and smash the chicken because we all know that big flatties love them. If you want to get more life out of your chicken, you got to rotate them. Yeah. That's, that's tip number one, you know. Tip number two, marinate it well. Marinate it well and it's juices. No one likes a dry chicken. Motor oil, three and a half inch. Today actually marks the day that my wife and I are selling a house. It's our first open home. First open home, so we decided to go fishing. <laughs> Why not? We cleaned the house on Thursday, came to the coast Friday, went fishing Friday. And yeah, just to avoid any, I don't know, any stress, go fishing. This ain't bright enough for me, I'm changing. Haters are gonna hate. What's the perfect way to get them? I reckon having trebles on instead of a single hook. That'd be my one piece of advice, and that's why I've got a small treble on my soft plastic here. Oh yeah, I'm on. I wonder if I've got him on that treble on the back. I think I do. Right in the top lip, actually. And that treble is in the back. Oh, how good's that? Oh, I love a good hookup. Oh, you are on. Yay! That's it, keep that pressure. Yeah, girl. Oh, shit, she's all right, too. Are you still on? Yeah. Cool. Well, bring her, okay. bring her over. Oh. That's okay. Oh, yeah, like, we could have used the net then, okay. to be honest, but we didn't. That's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Rather than being lazy every time, if everyone gets a flat air from now on, we'll do a proper job and we'll net it. Two offers, two flat air. Oh, keep that rod tip. That's good, Shell. Uh, Shell, okay, I gotta say it. Okay, what? You're way too aggressive with your winding. You're like, I'm on, and you just the first thing you wanna do is just get that thing right into the boat. 
<laughs> you just need to like let it chill there for a bit. Okay. Just let it almost swim away to set the hook. Okay. Rather than like, you, yeah, you know what I mean. So I want it. This isn't. Oh yes. Oh, she found the nest. Oh, yeah. I'm off. I'm off. I'm off. No, you're, you're just too aggressive. <laughs> no, no, I was super mindful then. Fuck you. I got. I've even got a treble on the back of this thing. That's impossible. That was a talented flathead then to shake that. Maybe that's why people don't fish here because the flathead are smart. The flathead, people don't fish here because the flathead is smart? Yeah. I like your style, Ash. Flathead oh, universe. Yeah. Oh. Are you guys a fucking... Yeah. Right. Are you still on? Sides now, right? No, 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 no. Just keep doing what you guys are doing. I was slow this time. Eh? Yeah, you were actually way too slow. I liked you a bit more aggressive. Yeah. All right. I don't know how to play flathead. They're too friggin' smart around here. <laughs> Even with trebles. <laughs> These are the PhD flatheads. They're young, but they're small and smart. <laughs> We've only been on the water for like an hour. An hour's not bad. We've hooked up to probably yeah, five flatheads. Exactly, that's what I mean. Like, it's so much better than what I usually do. <laughs> but it's like the other sport. I don't catch anything in the real Because I need a man. I need a man. And my heart is set on you. And Shelly is yeah, on to a like flathead. Big one. Oh. Mate, I could see you pull those hooks from a mile away. You did the same maneuver. It's the oh, whole. It's really gentle. It's... Girl, you got this. You bring him home. Yeah. I just knew. I could just see it. How Maybe? do you feel okay. it? I okay. just okay. amazing. New technique here, Shell. Rod tip up. How's that? Yeah, but it's just not working for you. Sick of losing flathead. Sick of it. I got a new technique for everyone. All right. Back off. Look, I got a flathead now. Okay. All that bloody talk. All right, come on. Bring him in. Bring <laughs> I got so much in. pressure to get this Bring guy in. in. Oh, he's swimming to the boat. Hey, oh, yeah. oh yeah, big fella, big, big. big fish. Wow. See, that's how you do it. Okay. So quit your whinging. Even though he's a little. He was looking for mate. Wow, I hooked him just terribly. Oh gosh, see that big flathead come out of nowhere then. Where? Holy shivers. Oh, Panadol. Is it nice? Oh, it's f***ing delicious. <laughs> Look, that's two inquiries from two bigger flathead here. So there's something here, guys, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Oh, that was the hardest thing I've ever had to my whole life. This one is on. Hey, I'll be on next. Give me a bit more rod bent. Oh my god. Swan. He snapped you. Swan. What happened there? Swan. <laughs> oh, mate. Did it feel big? What happened? It's a six pound line. You have to feed it back through. We'll have to, how tight's your drag? Just that was my give rod. me a pull on your drag. Oh, that's tight as f for six pound. Who did anyone tighten that drag while I wasn't looking, Swan? I don't know. No, it's just been since I've had it. Did you tighten your drag? No, I haven't touched it. Not since you and I were breaking Oh, together. no. That's all right. Like, Passed there again, he hit me twice because it came off and then he hit again. Yeah. Oh, that's so heartbreaking. That was on the chicken too, eh? Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. the chicken. The four inch though. Fuck. Yeah, you're doing it good now. Oh, she's big. Boat it, net it, rod up, rod up into the net, Ash. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Bring it over the boat. Bring it in the boat! What are you doing, you clowns? On a pizza. <laughs> oh my gosh! Got him at 46, I'll give that to you. 46. Yay. I mean, I'm gonna have to give that chicken to Ashley and put that on the 20 pound and switch that over because the six pound line won't handle the quarter ounce jig head when you throw it. Okay. <coughs> I'm the only one that hasn't caught one. It's killing me. Oh no. Poor sounder. It's only $1,400. 
<laughs> oh, I'm on. Prod up. Still on? Has. Wait, 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 get it down. Oh, big one, big one. Bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. Wait, 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 wait. It's okay. Yeah, okay. Bring it in. Bring it in. Oh my god, your drag is so loose. Oh shit! Stop with the rod! Get the rod down! I'm you sorry. keep pulling it out of the fucking <laughs> net! Sorry. You have got to be kidding me. That is a friggin' miracle. Look at the line that is snapped. What? Holy shit. That is the flathead that just smashed Swanee's chicken. Oh. You have got to be kidding me! Hey, what? Are you telling me we're gonna get our jig head back from this flathead? <laughs> what? What the hell? That's a miracle! <laughs> oh, PB, 53. 53. This flathead just here is the flathead that Swanee got his line cut off at, actually. And, well look, my knot's good. My, it didn't cut at my knot, it cut... The actual line. It cut the actual line, like, far up. This is amazing! I'm gonna get two jigs, my jig back from the splathead. So this one just came out of him, just unhooked him. Now this other one is right down there. Yes. Yeah! Oh, that's the second chicken out. Let's revive this guy and we'll get him back, eh? That's a nice 54 centimeter splathead. That's my sister's splathead. Oh wow, he's ready to go. Holy smokes. That was a rubbish release, but he's good. How he's you feeling? Good. Stoked? I cannot believe that we got that flathead back after it snapped your line. Like, here's the line. Swanee had his line snapped. There's that um, <laughs> 10 pound leader knot I had just there. And the line snapped, like, up here. What the hell? That is incredible. <laughs> what? Let's get back into it, guys. I'm going to use the same plastic because everyone knows it's just like a rotisserie. Rotisserie chook, you can reuse them. You just got to find the right entry point. It's been living inside that flathead for about 20 minutes. Well, that's going to catch us another flathead. You wait. I know it's rough as guts, but it'll work. So bringing the flathead on... <laughs> bringing the flathead onto the surface. This is a big one here too, I think. Um, you kind of want to avoid that because, oh, this just feels better. Because bringing it to the surface, it makes it want to shake its head. Just trying to, yeah, your way. Oh shit! Yeah, boy. <laughs> you. You. Not bad again. Oh, these are all keepers, guys. We got ourselves a 47 centimeter flatty Spew. here. Spew! Beautiful well day at the office here, guys. Look at this boy. Oh, he's beautiful. Well done. These are, guys, these are nice legal fish, too. Thanks, Ash. Oh, Whoa. He's off, eh? Oh, and that was on that chicken. I just. See, they've got life to them, eh? People underestimate the life of these chickens, I reckon. I'm going to look at the barometer to see. Oh yeah, the barometer is high. What's that? 1,024 right now. And that flathead came back twice to smash that chicken. So I am not surprised that he came back for a second time. The barometer expands the fish's stomach, makes them more hungry. And we just proved that today. Oh yeah, what is that? That's a stingray. Oh, it sounds like it. <gasps> Hooked. That's good. It just came off him. Perfect. I didn't see it. Oh, no, we're good. Good outcome. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Big flathead. Yep. I just saw him come out of nowhere and smash that. Holy cow. It's 
It's good to see a bigger flathead, anyway. Oh, I'm on here again. Oh, this is a bigger one. This is a bigger one. That was my second cast in. Can you get that net ready, please? Oh, he's off. Oh, no. Well, I'll tell you what, two days in the water at the Tweed. First day with Michelle, second day with the rest of the fam. Boom! <laughs> nah, they're all here. One, two, three. Um, good day on the water. Hooked up some nice legal flay there today. Found a nice spot. We actually found it a couple of weekends ago and we went back there. Similar conditions, run in tight, just changed. Onto some nice flatty. Cannot believe we hooked up to that flathead that we lost and then we managed to get again and we saved him, took the two chickens out of him. In fact, we killed him and then we saved him. So he was pretty much had a death sentence and then we saved him because we caught him again. Um, I got angry, that's pretty standard. Um, other than that, we had a good day on the water. Pretty happy actually. Everything is great. Cleaning up now, doing the rounds. We've only got three litres of fuel left to get us back, hopefully at last. If not, you'll hear from me again. Hit subscribe and see you guys around. I say this all the time when someone asks me, why do I like fishing? I'd be like, well, it's like scratching a scratchy. You just, you know, you scratch 10,000 off, you scratch another 10,000 off, and that's that excitement when you scratch just that one coming into your next scratch, and then it's a zero. Yeah. Then you're like, oh my gosh, is this it? Is this it? And normally it's not, but yeah, you never know. Like it, one day it's going to be that that meter flathead or that ten thousand dollars, and that's why you keep doing it.